If I can't feel it, I will not do it. Hi, I'm Debbie Lim, and I am the current artist in residence of Farmington House, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. Thank you so much. I've always been an artist. I was a child with less words, so I use my creativity um, to express myself. Um, clothes designer in the early 1980s. My line used to be called Le Chang Designer Wear. I had over 200 fashion shows. I loved a lot of glitter and shine. And, but then I liked the standard um, casual wear as well. I also like to do sculptures out of clay, just a clump of clay and my hands just created it. I don't know how I learned it, but it was just part of me that something inside of me took over. I don't know if, I, if I'm making any sense with that, but that's how I create things. I, I like to feel it. If I can't feel it, then I can't do it. I do start with the eyes. Whenever I work on eyes, um, in, uh, any type of project, even as a photographer, do the eyes first. If I cannot see in the eyes and feel the eyes, then I trash it. Um, right now, I am doing a, a colored pencil art of um, peacocks. Uh, they're for my feng shui series. So this is a start of the male peacock and the female peacock. And um, they have a special meaning to them in feng shui. And so I decided to work on them. Uh, it looks pretty dull right now, but our artwork looks dull in the beginning. But wait until you see it when it's finished. I am happy with the eyes. <laughs> feng shui art. I specialize in feng shui art. I got into it uh, many, many years ago. Actually, my father, he passed away a year ago. Um, he buried our grandmother in China the feng shui way. And it's, it's quite impressive. But um, he was always into feng shui and I never knew it. And he said, well, what, what are you doing? How, how, how did you know about feng shui? Um, did a lot of research, again, from something from within. And I like to concentrate on wildlife in my feng shui work. Feng shui is a Chinese um, belief that if you have a flow of energy that's continuously going, um, it gives you success, good luck, um, good health, helps your relationships, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there's a lot of beliefs of um, how a building is um, standing, what color you should paint your door, where you should place your bed. There's a lot. It's pretty, pretty impressive, feng shui. But I like to do the art part, like all other wildlife photographers. That um, that one second, that one brief second, is the, the success shot, and I feel blessed when I get that shot. Uh, it could take me a year to get it, but that one shot makes all the, the difference. It makes you feel so good inside. Most of my photography that I do is mainly in our area. And um, when I'm out there, I am out there day and night, pouring rain, in the cold. I love nature. I love being part of nature. I feel like we all came from nature and um, the birds, I'm very lucky and blessed that they let me take their pictures. Um, when I come across the uh, falcons or the pelicans, and yes, we do, we do have them, I get so excited and I could stand there for hours. The eagles, I love eagles. I had two of them come to my um, front door, one eagle one year, um, which was last year, and two years ago in my backyard right here in Farmington Hills, and I got the shots. I got them. But um, other than that, I feel blessed, and I will continue doing this for as long as I can because of the feeling it gives me. I look at the animals, and I, every time after I take a few thousand pictures, <laughs> I would say, thank you, thank you for letting me have this time with you, and thank you, Lord. I would always say that to them every shot. The City of Farmington Hills Cultural Arts Division and the Farmington Area Arts Commission. I appreciate it and I would do you proud. <laughs>